let's name every NBA team's best second round draft pick. Now before we begin, I do want to list a few quick rules. First, we're only looking at draft picks post the 1976 NBA-ABA merger, simply because the draft before then had a much smaller selection pool. For example, in 1964, Willis Reed was drafted in the second round, but he was the 10th overall pick. By modern NBA draft standards, he'd be a first round pick, so it wouldn't be the same comparison to say that he was a deep draft pick. Secondly, the team that drafted the player is the team the player represents. I don't care what the team does with their draftee, whether they trade him or keep him. If they picked him, then it counts. With that in mind, let's rebound onto that list. The 76ers' best second round draft pick has a lot of great options. The top two that come to my mind are Lou Williams and Maurice Cheeks. Both are great players, but this easily goes to Maurice Cheeks, who was drafted in the second round as the 14th pick, 36th overall, in the 1978 NBA draft. He's a four time All Star, five time All Defensive, 1983 champ, and a Hall of Fame player. The Bucks also have a ton of great second round picks. One good option is Malcolm Brogdon, but this should no question go to Alex English, who was drafted in the second round. 6th pick, 23rd overall, in the 1976 NBA Draft. We all know how great Alex is, as he's an 8-time All-Star, and while he spent most of his career in Denver, he spent his first two seasons with the Bucks. The Bulls' best second round draft pick is one of their best bench players of all times, and that's Tony Kukoc going in the second round as the second pick, 29th overall, in the 1990 NBA Draft. Tony is a three-time champ, a 1995-96 sixth man, and an all-rookie player. Plus, he's in the Hall of Fame. He played alongside Michael Jordan during his second and three Pete and in his best scoring season, he put up nearly 20 points per game. The Cleveland Cavaliers' best second round draft pick is a close call between Hot Rod Williams and Carlos Boozer. John Hot Rod Williams was certainly the better all-time Cavalier, and may he rest in peace. But as players in general, Boozer is the better overall NBA player as he is a two-time All-Star and an All-NBA player. Boozer was drafted in the second round as the sixth pick, 35th overall, in the 2002 NBA Draft. The Celtics' best second round draft pick easily goes to Danny Ainge, who was drafted in the second round as the 8th pick, 31st overall in the 1981 NBA Draft. We all know how great Danny is at being a GM slash executive, but he was pretty good as a player too as he made an all-star team in 1988 and won two rings as a player, playing alongside Larry Bird. The Clippers' best second round draft pick is no question DeAndre Jordan, who was drafted in the second round as the 5th pick, 35th overall in the 2008 NBA Draft. He's a one-time all-star, two-time total rebound champ, two-time all-defensive player, and three-time all-NBA player. Crazy Crazy how a player can make more All-NBA teams than All-Star teams, but that's a different topic for a different day. The Grizzlies' best second round draft pick is Matt Barnes, who was drafted in the second round as the 17th pick, 46th overall in the 2002 NBA Draft. He was traded on draft night alongside Nick Anderson to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Wesley Person. The Cavs didn't keep Barnes either, his rookie season was spent with the Clippers. The irony though is Barnes eventually did play for Memphis during the 2015-16 season where he averaged 10 points per game. The Hawks best second round draft pick is easily Doc Rivers, who was drafted in the second round as the seventh pick, 31st overall in the 1983 NBA Draft. Doc, of course, ended up being a Hawks All-Star. In his best season, he averaged 14 points per game and 10 assists, a very respectable double-double for the late 80s. The Miami Heat have a few good choices for second round picks, from Josh Richardson, Eddie House, but my pick is Boyan Bogdanovich, who was drafted in the second round as the first pick, 31st overall in the 2011 NBA Draft. He was later traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves and then again to the New Jersey Nets on draft night. He obviously is a great 20 point per game scorer, no doubt about it. At the time, a team had to take a risk because he spent his first three eligible seasons playing in Turkey, so some teams didn't want to wait it out and thus they traded him. The Charlotte Hornets best second round draft pick is Dwight Powell, who went in the second round as the 15th pick, 45th overall in the 2014 NBA Draft. Dwight is a solid starter who currently plays for the Mavericks, but he never actually played for the Hornets. Powell's rights were traded to the Cavs, but even during Summer League, the Cavs then traded him to the Celtics and he spent his first five rookie games in Boston, but was again traded to Dallas and ever since he spent his whole career there so far with the Mavericks. The Utah Jazz's best second round draft pick is Paul Millsap, who went in the second round as the 17th pick, 47th overall in the 2006 NBA Draft. He ended up becoming a four-time All-Star and an All-Defensive player. In his best season, he put up over 18 points per game and 9 rebounds per game, but his All-Star years were during his time with the Hawks, but he had some pretty great Utah seasons as well with similar numbers. As for the Kings, it's a really close call between 
Isaiah Thomas and Hassan Whiteside. These players are two completely different and it's really hard to compare a score first point guard to a defensive center. What I will say is that being prisoner of the moment would easily get you to pick Hassan Whiteside since Thomas post injury has been in and out of the league and is not really as good as he was during his prime. If you take them at their absolute best, Isaiah made an all NBA team and averaged over 28 points per game. So for that, I am taking Thomas, who was drafted in the second round, 30th pick, 60th overall in the 2011 NBA draft, being the very last pick of that draft. The Knicks' best post-1976 ABA merger second round draft pick is Trevor Ariza, who was drafted in the second round, 14th pick, 43rd overall of the 2004 NBA draft. Obviously, pre-merger, we gotta go with Willis Reed, but post-merger, Ariza is the best second round option with these set of years. Trevor was definitely an NBA journeyman, playing for 10 different teams. He won a ring with the Lakers in 2009, and in his best season in Houston, he averaged nearly 15 points per game. The Los Angeles Lakers' best second round draft pick is Marcus Gasol, who was drafted in the second round, 18th pick, 48th overall in the 2007 NBA Draft. There is a bit of irony with this pick. The Lakers drafted him, but then traded him on draft night for his brother Pau Gasol, sending him to the Grizzlies, sending Pau to the Lakers. Pau won two rings with the Lakers. Mark, though, did end up winning a ring of his own in 2019 with the Raptors, but in 2021, he eventually found his way back to the Lakers to play for them in his final season. The Orlando Magic's best second round draft pick is a close call between Zaza Pachipsha and the wild thing Anderson Verjao. While Zaza has two rings, he was just in the right place at the right time. Verjao was in the wrong place at the right time, as he played for the Cavs when they made it to the finals but lost, and then one season later he played for the Warriors where they made it to the finals but lost. But the Cavs did offer him a ring in 2016 that he personally rejected, and then the Warriors did offer him a ring in 2017 that he finally accepted. As for who was the better player, Andy is an all-defensive player who can rebound really well, and if need be in his best scoring season, he put up over 14 points per game. So for that, Anderson Verjao gets my pick here. The Wild Thing was drafted in the second round as the first pick, 30th overall in the 2004 NBA Draft. The Mavericks have a few great options for their best second round pick. The top two are Jalen Brunston and Mark Price. Jalen still has time to be something really special, but for now this easily goes to Mark Price, who was drafted in the second round as the first pick, 25th overall in the 1986 NBA Draft, but was traded to the Cavs, so he didn't play in Dallas. Price is a four-time All-Star and a four-time All-NBA player. The Nets' best second round draft pick is easily Kyle Korver, who was drafted in the second round, 22nd pick, 51st overall in the 2003 NBA Draft, but he was a immediately traded to the 76ers. Kyle, of course, is an excellent three-point shooter and made an all-star team in 2015. The Nuggets, no question, this easily goes to the two-time MVP so far, Nikola Jokic, who was drafted in the second round as the 11th pick, 41st overall in the 2014 NBA Draft. The Pacers' best second round draft pick is Antonio Davis, who was drafted in the second round as the 18th pick, 45th overall in the 1990 NBA Draft. Davis made an all-star team in 2001, where he put up nearly 14 points per game, two blocks, and 10 rebounds, a walking double-double. The Pelicans slash New Orleans Hornets best second round draft pick is Brandon Bass, who was drafted in the second round as the third pick, 33rd overall in the 2005 NBA Draft. In Brandon's best season, he put up over 12 points per game and 6 rebounds, which was pretty good for someone who went this deep in the draft. The Pistons have a ton of great second round pick options. My top two are Chris Middleton and Dennis Rodman. Chris is a great player, but this has to go to the worm Dennis Rodman, who was drafted in the second round as the third pick, 27th overall in the 1986 NBA Draft. We all know that Dennis is a rebounding machine and a great defensive player. The Raptors' best second round draft pick is P.J. Tucker, who was drafted in the second round, 5th pick, 35th overall in the 2006 NBA Draft. P.J. ended up winning a ring with the Bucks, but in his best season, he spent it with the Suns, where his highest scoring average was around 8 points per game. The Rockets' best second round draft pick is Dylan Brooks, who was drafted in the second round as the 15th pick, 45th overall in the 2017 NBA Draft, but he was immediately traded to the Memphis Grizzlies, and so far he spent his career there in Memphis, now averaging around 18 points per game. The Rockets received a future second round draft pick from Memphis, but man, good luck getting another 18 point per game score in the second round. The Spurs, no explanation needed. This easily goes to Manu Ginobili, who was drafted in the second round as the 28th pick, 57th overall in the 1999 NBA Draft. 
The Suns' best second-round draft pick is Jeff Hornacek, who was drafted in the second round as the 22nd pick, 46th overall in the 1986 NBA draft. Jeff spent his first six seasons with the Suns and made an all-star team in 1992, putting up over 20 points per game, but he most notably played for the Jazz during the later half of his career. The Thunder slash Supersonics' best second-round draft pick is no question Dennis Johnson, who was drafted in the second round as the 22nd pick, 46th overall in the 1986 NBA draft. Dennis is a Supersonics Finals MVP, a 5-time All-Star, 2-time All-NBA player, and 9-time All-Defensive player. Rest in peace to Dennis Johnson. The Timberwolves' best second-round draft pick is Super Mario Mario Chalmers, who was drafted in the second round as the 4th pick, 34th overall in the 2008 NBA Draft, but he was traded on draft night to the Miami Heat. Mario is a two-time champion and an all-rookie player who in his best season put up nearly 11 points per game and roughly 5 assists per game. Winning those chips was probably easy since he did get to play with Yoshi, if only Luigi had the same opportunity. The Trailblazers' best second round, well, technically third round draft pick is Drazen Petrovic, who was drafted in the third round as the 13th pick, 60th overall in the 1986 NBA Draft. He only spent roughly two seasons in Portland, but regardless, he was a legendary player who in his best season put up over 22 points per game. He's also an All-NBA player. Rest in peace to Drazen Petrovic. The Warriors' best second-round draft pick is no question Draymond Green, who was drafted in the second round as the fifth pick, 35th overall in the 2012 NBA Draft. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.